Okay, I'm sure a lot of you iPhone developers out there want to get started right away with uh, creating some games. I'm going to show you how to do some animation here, some sprite animation, in a very simple way. Uh, let me show you the beginnings of a game I started to build. <clears throat> I have a little dragon flying around on a little uh, sky background here. And when I tap around here, he flies to that location. And uh, what I'm going to show you here, and later on he's going to actually spit fire at different things. What I'm going to show you is how to do this actual sprite animation of a uh, image view that moves around, that uh, animates the images of the dragon flying. So let's um, recreate this project that I just did here, just that animation part of it. Let's go to File, New Project, and we're going to create a view based application. I'll call this YouTube Sprite Test. All right, I'll save it. Okay, I'm going to set this to simulator so we can watch it on the uh, screen here. And uh, let me open up my classes. Let's do a little housekeeping here, get everything set up correctly. Move this over so you can see what's going on. We're going to do all of our uh, work inside the uh, view controller and the view controller.h and .m. Okay, so the next thing I need to do is I need to um, copy the image files that I need. Uh, I'll copy these image files here of this dragon. And let me put that into the uh, applications folder here. All right, I have more images that I'm going to need for this project. So let me go here and uh, under resources, I'm going to create a new group. I'll call it images. And then I'll select the images that I need for this particular thing. And I'll just drag these in here. All right, and I'll say add it. Okay, so now I have the images that I need. Um, now I'll go ahead and set up my view. I'll open up my con view controller.zip file, and uh, here's all the stuff I need. All right, and uh, my library. Uh, before I do this, you know, I'm going to create the uh, the uh, UI image that I need. Okay, so um, what I need here is um, I need a interface builder outlet, IB outlet. UI Im image, oops, image view. I'm going to call this image view dragon. Okay. And I'll save that. Now I'll bring up interface builder again. Okay. And then I'm going to drag an image view in here. I'm going to drag it off the side, otherwise, it'll take off the whole, it'll take up the whole space. It'll be hard to select. I'm going to drag it around here, get the size that I want. Okay. I'm done with the library now. And we go over here, since we added those images, when I select image drop-down, I can select the image I want. Now I rendered this guy pointing down uh, so that when the uh, phone is flipped on its side, it will look like he's flying left and right. Okay, so the next thing I need to do is select the referencing outlet. And um, let's click on that image. And I'll drag that down here to Files Owner. And because I made that Interface Builder Outlet, I can select the dragon UI image view here. Now save that. So now, um, because he's he's uh, linked in there, whatever I do in here to code to this dragon um, UI image view in code will happen to the actual thing that was uh, in the interface builder. Okay, so the only other thing I need to do is I need to create another outlet. Let's go back here. I'm just going to cut and paste here. I need to create an NS mutable array, which is just an array of objects that can change its size. And I'm going to call it anim1. And then I need to declare the properties that we're going to use. Um, where's that at? Property, non atomic, retain, and UI image view, dragon. All right. And then we'll do the properties. Same thing for the NS mutable array, and that was called anim1. All right, save that. So we're done with the header file. Remember, the header file, that's just where you declare all your objects. And then the .m file is where you can actually uh, use those objects. So in order to, to access the properties of those objects, I have to uh, synthesize them. Synthesize dragon and synthesize 
in M1. Okay, so now I've created the two objects. I need to find a place inside the program to load them. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to uncomment this view did load method. Okay, so when the view of the main view loads, I'm going to execute the code in here. All right, uh, I'm going to build this project right now so that we can make sure that everything's working right. All right, build succeeded. Okay, good. Okay, now um, I'm going to copy some code from the other project here. It's very simple to set this up here. Let me copy this code, and then I'll explain it to you. There's other code in there we don't need for this project. All right, paste. Okay, so all we have to do is, step one is we, t um, we create the NS mutable array. NS mutable array, a lock in it, so... Um, then we create a for loop, and we loop through this um, a certain number of time, the number of, of images that we have. And uh, then once we've uh, loaded those images into the array, it's just three lines of code to animate those images. So first, let me walk you through. Okay, so line one, uh, and this mutable array, a lock in it. So that just creates this array, all right? And there's nothing in there right now. So next is a for loop for integer i equals 0, i is less than 19, increment i. So if you've used any kind of programming language, you know what a for loop does. If not, go ahead and, and look up how that works, okay? Uh, so we're going to loop through this, and we're going to create a string, an string picture name. I'm calling it pick name, all right? And uh, then we create the string, and a string, string with format, colon, at sign. Okay, so rem remember, when you declare a string in, in, in your uh, string with format, you have to put the at sign before it. And then S, because all these images na are named S with the integer uh, after it, uh, you know, the image number. So S percent sign D dot PNG comma I. So what that's going to do is it's going to take the value of I. It's going to replace this percent sign D with the value of I. So when it loops through here 19 times, each time it loops through, it's going to increment I and it's going to load in the next image. So it'll be S0, S1, S2, S3, S4, and so on. All right, UI image, image equals UI image, image named, pick name. All right, so we're going to take this string and we're going to create an image that has the same name. Okay, so we're going to take these images and we're going to put them in, into this array. All right, then finally, um, after, we're, after that, we just say if image means that if the image has been loaded, then anim1 add object image. All right, pretty simple. All right, so the, uh, the next three lines, we're out of the for loop now. And then uh, we're back to the uh, UI image view, the dragon image view. So dragon set animation images, colon, anim1. That's the array of images we created. Dragon set animation duration, colon. Uh, for example, I put 1.2f, which is uh, the amount of time it takes to loop through all of these images. So if you wanted to loop slower, you'd put like 2.0f. If you wanted to go faster, you might put like 0.8 or something. And finally, drag and start animating. All right, so let's see what this does. Build this. And as you can see, I'll hit Command Arrow to flip it on its side. As you can see, simple as that, with just uh, a few lines of code, we were able to load an animation into this image view and animate it. And uh, later on, I'll show you how to specify, you know, swap out different uh, image arrays and how to, to move the character around the screen when you tap and stuff like that. So that's how to um, load in some animation images and uh, animate a UI image view.